Hi. Hello. Hi there. What was my intro? Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Well, um, hi. It's been a long time. I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing well. I really appreciate everybody that has been checking in on me for the past... Whoa, wow. Um, when was my last video? Let's look it up. Okay, turns out I don't remember how to work this stuff. Wait, there it is. Okay. Okay, okay, I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Okay, here's my channel. <laughs> when did it? Five months ago. Okay. April 14th. April 14th. So we are approaching six months since I last posted a video. So basically what I want this video to be is the explanation that no one asked for, but <laughs> I feel like no, I don't want to say I feel like I owe it to you guys because you would never make me feel... What do you do with your hands when you're filming? Okay, but you guys would never make me feel like I owe you anything or like I need to give you any personal life information. Nobody is pressuring me for any of that, but I do feel like I just ghosted everyone and I just want to... I just want to fill in the blanks a little bit in case anyone was wondering, is anyone even still here? Anyway, I don't want this video to be super long. I guess you already know how long it is. I have no idea yet. I hope that I don't ramble for 30 minutes or anything, but I do just want to let you guys know that I'm fine and give a little backstory and talk about what I intend for this channel going forward. Okay. So about this time last year, or maybe a little before, like maybe August, September or so, um, our household started to contemplate some job changes. Well, I guess that would mean that Kenneth, my partner, was contemplating a job change because all the rest of us are either underage or they're me and I'm a stay at home homeschool mom. So Kenneth my partner was thinking about a job change, which if I, I'm sure I've mentioned this in videos, but um, if you know me and possibly in previous videos, you know that Kenneth has been working out of town for at least 25 days at a time and then coming home for a week. And we've been doing this for five years or more. And it's just kind of a thing that we've gotten used to. It's a thing that was hard. Um, a thing that really led me to diamond painting because I was alone a lot of the time or it was just me and the kids and I just needed something to fill my time, uh, keep my hands busy so that I didn't worry so much and then led me to start this channel because I wanted to be part of a community and have more contact with people because I was alone a lot of the time. So moving forward, contemplating the job change, that was going to be a big change in all of our lives as far as the household goes. Because having someone who visits for a week at a time, even though technically he does live here, it didn't really feel like he lived here. And so we started really thinking about this job change and thinking about the pros and cons of it. And as time moved on, it became a very stressful situation for me. And then the job change happened. The job change happened. And this probably has led us now to um, February-ish. January, February was when this all was going into motion and just everything was in chaos in my life. And then he came home and it's been wonderful. It's great to get to see him every day. It's, I, I just didn't realize what a luxury that was until I got to experience it again. And the kids are enjoying having him home. Nugget is overjoyed. Like I, I was kind of worried that because Nugget sleeps in the bed with me and then now I would have someone else there sleeping in the bed and he would feel like he didn't have his spot anymore. Oh no, no, no. No, he still has his spot. That's <laughs> That was no problem. I shouldn't have worried. Nugget will make his way. Um, which, actually, I imagine that most everyone is strictly concerned with how Nugget's doing. He is doing 
fine. He's doing well. He is uh, asleep, right? Nope, nope, this is mirrored. So he's over here, over here sleeping and snoring up storm. No problems there. He's doing great. The kids are great. So after Kenneth came home, I realized that I had missed out on like five years of hanging out with him and doing family things. And we we bought a golf cart and we got uh, bikes for the whole family so we could just be out, be doing things, be experiencing life. And I just, I kind of quit diamond painting. I couldn't find a way to get it into my schedule anymore because now, like I used to, I would cook supper and clean up and then get the kids settled. And then I just had time to myself. I, I would read or diamond paint or watch something on TV. And now there's another person who has preferences about what we're doing. And I didn't always want to be like, oh, go over there and I'm going to diamond paint and we're going to watch what I want to watch. Just be quiet. <laughs> so it's not really an option when you have somebody else sitting there with you. So I just, I, I didn't diamond paint. I didn't diamond paint. And I wasn't buying diamond paintings. I mean, with a big job change comes big financial change. And I didn't buy any diamond paintings. And then as time went on, I wasn't posting videos. What would I post about? I don't, I wasn't buying any diamond paintings. I wasn't diamond painting. <laughs> so I felt really pressured to come up with something to say in my videos. And then the pressure, of course, made me go, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> so... I, I didn't, I guess you noticed. And then the only things on my channel were sneak peeks from Diamond Art Club, which of course I was starting to feel guilty about that because they're sending me these kits and my channel is not producing. Like I, I was putting up the sneak peek video, but I wasn't doing anything else. I let the roundups just completely fall off and I just almost fell out of my chair. Um, so the channel was basically inactive. And then at that point, I was like, I really, I really need to tell Diamond Art Club, like, thank you so much for this opportunity, but I feel like I'm not doing it justice. And at that point, I decided, like, I literally told Diamond Art Club that I was closing the channel. I was like, this, this is it. Goodbye, the hobbyist life. I'm done. And I thanked them. And I said goodbye. And I never put up a video on the channel saying that, which I guess leads me to my next point that I just never really was sure if I wanted to close the channel. But I just, I needed there to be some separation for me. Just like I, I basically embarked on what feels like a whole new life with having Kenneth home and so many more opportunities of things that I can do. I can leave the house without a babysitter. He can be here so that I can go run errands or whatever. It's just, it's, it's great. It's wonderful, but it was a, a big thing. And I just needed to cut ties with the old way of doing things, which meant this channel. I just needed to back away and not think about it. And to me, that meant I'm done closing it down. But now that we're more than six months into him being home and we're kind of getting used to things, getting a rhythm down. And now that we're seeing that we we have time, it seems like I can add some things back in because used to when we lived our lives one week at a time when he was just home for such a short time, we felt like we had to spend every moment together and cram every fun thing in. But now we're seeing that like life can't go at that pace all the time. You can't always be trying to make the most of every single second. Like sometimes you have to just relax. And that is also making the most of things. And so I can diamond paint again sometimes. Um, I didn't have to ask permission if that's what it seems like. Kenneth doesn't mind if I diamond paint. He doesn't mind if I take time for myself. I was just finding it hard to justify doing something for myself when he was here. Why wouldn't I spend time with him? Anyway, I've probably <laughs> rambled now for way longer than I said. I said this would be short. Anyway, so I've been diamond painting again. I've been missing making content. That's why I'm making this video. Basically, this is a check-in. I'm still alive. Everything's fine. And I would like to 
make videos again, but I'm not going to promise that they will come in any kind of consistent way. I certainly can't commit to weekly roundups, though I would like to bring back the roundup, but did, did somebody else just start doing them after I left for long enough? I don't know. I mean, if, if it's still something that's interesting to you and you would still like to see roundups and no one else is doing them, then I would love to. I would love to bring them back for the weeks that I'm able to do them. So let me know down in the comments. I, I haven't kept up with the community. I haven't kept up with the new releases and things. So I don't know if someone else is doing the roundup. I don't want to step on their toes. So just let me know down in the comments if that is still a thing that is needed in the community. And maybe I can help out with that. Okay, it says I've only been filming for like 15 minutes, so that's that's great. That means this video can be shorter than 15 minutes and I can cut out some of the rambling and this will be a semi-short video. Maybe at some point I can do something like a whip and chat and go like really in depth if anyone cares to know like all about all of these uh, changes and how I've felt about them. I really don't know if anybody would care, but other people might be going through something similar, having a partner that works away or someone new coming into their household that kind of feels like a big change. I don't know. <laughs> I can always elaborate more. You guys know that I can ramble, so maybe a whip and chat someday so that I can ramble on and on further about all of that. But before I go, I do want to show you Nugget. He he did get up. He's he's now moved his position <laughs> to a little bit closer to where I'm sitting. So let me see if he will come and say hello to you guys. He was very sleepy. He's not <laughs> not happy that I woke him up. Hey, look at the camera. I have to hold him in such an awkward <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I have to hold him in such an awkward position so that the camera can see him. Oh, that's a good snort. Okay, so here's Nugget. He's happy and content. And I know that you guys have missed him very much. So there's, there's our obligatory Nugget appearance in this video. All right, then. I think that's all that I needed to tell you. And again, thank you so much to everybody that reached out and checked on me and to... Everybody that's that's still here, that's watching, I really appreciate your support and the fact that my channel still gets views. Like, thank you. And I guess that is it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.